So, uh, finally had the real uh, ramen, uh, the local place, that is, and it was like a line outside the door at lunchtime, but I just stood and waited, and I am so glad I did. It was way different than the others that I had been having. This one was like a soy sauce uh, broth, and... Uh, uh, it was nothing like the other ones I had. The other ones I had were like orange, and I don't know what was in them, but they were slightly spicy. And this one, this one was uh, not uh, spicy at all, like had no spice, and uh, it tasted amazing. It was just pork. A whole bunch of pork slices and then noodles and oh my god the noodles were so good and the broth was so good and I'm glad he asked me like oh what, what's yeah what size bowl like that was all you could order it's just ramen like that's all you can get at the place and he just asked you like what size bowl you want and so of course I said like the largest one he was like big bowl and I was like yeah give me a big bowl and I demolished that thing like just absolutely destroyed it. The uh, it's about 800 yen, so the biggest bowl is 800 yen, so about uh, probably like nine or ten dollars. Uh, but super good, super good. Something I'll dream about. That it's a good food, like especially on a cold day, like you'll. It's like a gumbo basically for a Cajun person. It's it's like a warm broth soup with noodles like you cannot go wrong with it and uh, super good super happy I went now I'm thinking about going to uh, San Gindo San Gindo the temple with like uh, a bunch of Buddhas in it so not really sure how to get there I'm gonna have to go back to the hostel actually to check their map um, but, uh, it's got a whole bunch of Buddhist statues and it's real close to the hostel, so probably go there. Don't really have any plans for today. Uh, tomorrow I leave for Hiroshima. Um, I may go to Monkey Mountain today. I'll have to brave the subway again. It's actually decently confusing the subway um, kind of makes me nervous about Tokyo but I'm sure I'll figure it out or if I don't I'll just get lost a bunch or not be able to do it I'll have to ask someone uh, but it shouldn't be too bad I might go to like I said the monkey mountain see some monkeys see what all that's about. A rush, go to Arashiyama, which is real famous. It's like the bamboo forest. And apparently at night, they put lights up everywhere to light it. And so, uh, might go see that. Uh, but first, I'm going to this Buddhist place. Uh, bought some awesome souvenirs, uh, which I think are going to be the highlight of this trip. Like, so glad I got what I did. And uh, excited, excited to head to Hiroshima. Uh, I like Kyoto, and it's super foreigner friendly, but I feel like I've seen a lot of what it has to offer. I'm like, I'm happy with the amount I've seen and the stuff I've explored and the cities I've, like the city I've seen. And so I'm happy to move on to Hiroshima and see Peace Park and then have a horrible, horrible long uh, train ride to Nico. But I think Nico is going to be really cool because it's not a K's house. And it's uh, going to be much more, it's going to be uh, much more uh, traditional, I, I'm guessing. Maybe it won't, I don't know. But uh, hopefully they speak. Good English because 
I'll have no idea what to do and Nico. Um, but uh, should be cool and I think that's how just relax in Japan. That's always nice. Weather today, it rained last night actually when I oh yeah, and I went out to a bar last night. Super fun. Uh, drinks are kind of expensive. 500, 500 basically for any drink. Including beer. So, 500 is like six, seven dollars US for a beer. And not even that much. And, but the good thing is the mixed drinks were also 500, so maybe it balances out. I don't know. But, uh, the bars are just so small. Like, the bar's really, really small. Like, maybe holds 20 people. And I mean, when I say holds, I mean they are smashed together. Uh, when you walk, it's an aisle for one. Uh, and there's just tables on each side and then the bar, you know, and very cramped, but as most of Japan, that's how it is. Uh, Kyoto really gets populated on the, uh, the weekends is what I've noticed. Like Friday, last night was crazy. Like tons of people, uh, tons of, uh, tons of Japanese all around, all in the bars everywhere, just like flooding off of Kyoto Station. There's a ton of people and uh, the bars were all full, restaurants were all full, and uh, it's pretty crazy. And uh, So I went to the bar, had a few drinks with the Aussies and uh, the one Brazilian guy, uh, and then we uh, walked back in the rain. It wasn't too bad, it was just like slightly drizzling. And we walked back through it. And uh, that was it, that was the night. And so I woke up pretty late this morning. Feeling great though, no hangover really. Uh, and that ramen probably helped. Very brothy and liquid, so rehydration. Um, the thing with Japanese, they don't do water. They do, but like he gave me a little bitty glass of water and no one ever checks back for like refills. So I don't know if the Japanese just like don't get refills. Or they just like, they don't really need them maybe. They figure the food's brothy enough. I don't know. But uh, strange to me. But uh, I'm back at the hostel and I'm gonna go check out the directions. This engine, though.